everybody. Uh, so I'm here to talk about some Avon products. Um, people who know me probably know that my fiance is an Avon rep at the moment, among other things. So um, I will be trying out quite a lot of their products. Um, this video will be edited by my, my, by my fiance, so hopefully um, you'll be able to see things a bit better. I do need to get a better webcam. Um, now here are the things that I'm going to be talking about. Got the Magix Compact Smoothing Primer and the Avon Magix HD Finishing Powder. And I also got the Finishing Brush from Avon as well. Now this Magix Finishing HD Powder is from Campaign 13, which is the current 2016. That's on one of the um, extra brochures that you get inside the main one. And here's an ad for the finishing powder. Basically, they're saying that it is better than the Makeup Forever HD powder. Now, this Magix HD finishing powder cost me £6.50 from this catalogue but it is normally £10.50 um, and the finishing brush which is also on the page cost me um, £5 and it would normally be £8 so basically they're saying it's better than the Makeup Forever which is £22 uh, Avon do this a lot, their products versus other products um, so here is the finishing powder. It was actually really hard to figure out how to use it. I had to have my fiance to help me figure it out. So you open it up and it's powder going everywhere. Um, it's not like really loose where you take the lid off and it's all sort of in there. It's actually more like um, a, tal a talcum powder. Um, it's got the little holes, I'm trying to show the little holes basically, um, where the powder comes out, which is quite difficult to get on the brush, to be honest. I did find it really difficult, so I would just put it in the lid and then obviously just use the, the lid and use the brush. So, quite like that. So I did find that really, really hard to figure out. So it does look loose. You yeah, shake it. Um, Ten pounds fifty, I suppose, is not a bad price. Um, usually, usually I would use uh, this uh, fixing powder, which um, when I went to pick my foundation in Debenhams. Um, I was told about this because I said, well, um, you know, my makeup's always coming off on my mobile phone when I'm talking and stuff. So the sales assistant uh, showed me this Art Deco finishing powder. It's around seven seven fifty or seven ninety nine, maybe eight pounds. Um, I actually got two of those. So that is what I normally use in my videos, um, if you see my other ones. I do not have it on in this one though, because I have the Avon Magix HD Finishing Powder. Now, because my foundation is practically run out, um, I'm wearing Too Faced Born This Way in Nude, and I will put all the products I'm wearing in this video in the description for you in case you're wondering what, what else I'm wearing um, because my foundation ran out I don't really think I got a good view of the magics and how it went on I also, I've also got some hula bronzer on so it may be difficult to tell now because of the lighting it's also difficult to tell how this went on but I will say that when I applied this Obviously it looks sort of white at first, but when you actually brush it in, um, it does go translucent and it's actually really smooth. 
Um, so I would say that so far, I've not been wearing it long, but it does do a really good job of fixing uh, your makeup and making it stay there. My face is smooth and you know, the colour is good. So, so far, first impression of the Avon Magic's HD Finishing Powder is that it's quite hard to get out at first if you don't figure out you have to sort of do that with it in the lid. Um, but I would actually say it's quite the good, uh, quite the Avon Compact Smoothing Primer in the catalogue. Photo ready, apparently. Um, there's two different primers. There's the Magic Face Perfector, which is kind of a gel, which has F F SPF 20. Um, I do have that tube, um, so I will review that sometime. But right now, I'm wearing the Magic Compact Smoothing Primer. It says that it's pore-free, line-free, shine-free, and illuminated. Wear under or over makeup, and it's ten pounds. So this is the primer. I'll show you. It does actually have a mirror inside, which I think is really good. It's a little compact, as it says. I'm just figure out where to open it. Okay, mirror's got a bit dirty from using it earlier. Now. As far as my review on the primer goes, the primer that I normally use is Maybelline Baby Skin because it really does take away my pores and make my skin extremely soft. So as far as the Avon Magic's Smoothing Compact Primer, which is £10, I don't really... I don't really recommend it. Um, it didn't seem to do much. My face didn't really look any different. Um, and I would say if you're using the, the finishing powder anyway, then you don't really need the smoothing primer. And I didn't actually find it that smoothing anyway, but I did find the powder made my skin really soft and smooth, but not the primer. So I would say give this primer a miss and try this powder um, as far as these go. And again, I would recommend my usual, um, which is the Art Deco Fixing Powder, which you can buy from Debenhams. So that's my review on the Avon Compact Smoothing Primer and the Avon Magix HD Finishing Powder. Thanks for watching, uh, give a thumbs up if you like, and feel free to comment and subscribe. See you next time. Good product so far, so first impressions of that are really good. So I would say, um, rather than buy the Makeup Forever HD powder, I would say try the Avon Magic's HD finishing powder uh, first. I haven't tried the Makeup Forever. But I'm pretty impressed with this once it goes on. It goes on white at first, brush it in, it goes translucent. My makeup is still on, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, that wasn't the only Avon Magic's product that I used. I just want to see if I actually have this one in their catalogue.